Minister of Malaysia. If you are the prime minister of a country and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars suddenly show up in your personal bank account, you better have a really good explanation for that, right? I mean, prime minister jobs do tend to come with a nice salary, but not a hundreds of millions of dollars overnight kind of salary. A couple of years ago, though, somebody put almost $700 million into the bank account of the prime minister of Malaysia. And he really had no good explanation for it. For months, he just said it was nobody's business. It was his money. He said these, these allegations, these insinuations that there was anything inappropriate about this sudden infusion of $700 million into his private bank account, he said this was just his political opponents trying to undermine him. There was nothing to see here. Then his own attorney general and his deputy prime minister started saying, actually, you know, maybe the prime minister should answer questions about this mysterious $700 million. The prime minister reacted to that by firing both of them. He fired his deputy prime minister and he fired his attorney general. Prime minister then appointed a new attorney general to look at the circumstances of that money turning up in his bank account. And that new hand-picked attorney general looked into it and declared that really it was all fine. Nobody had done anything wrong. And that's when they decided what their public explanation would be for where that money came from. Their explanation was that that money, that $700 million, it was a present. It was a no-strings-attached gift for the prime minister from the Saudi royal family. Their line was that there was a Saudi prince who decided that he liked the prime minister of Malaysia, and no occasion, really. He just decided that the prime minister could probably do with $700 million, so he gave it to him, free for nothing. When that's your good-sounding explanation, when that's your everything is fine, nothing to see here excuse that a Saudi prince just dropped it off one day and you don't know why. If that's the good sounding explanation, you know the bad sounding explanation must be really, really, really bad. Well, sure enough, a few months later, the United States Department of Justice filed a 250 page complaint alleging that that $700 million cash that turned up mysteriously in the personal bank account of the Malaysian prime minister, that was just a fraction of the proceeds of a gigantic heist, a giant act of thievery, a corruption scheme in which the prime minister and his family and his associates stole billions of dollars from the Malaysian government, four and a half billion dollars they stole in cash from the Malaysian government. And some of it they just stacked up in bank accounts, but mostly they laundered it all over the world, including in the United States, which is why the US Justice Department brought this case, even though the money was stolen from the people of Malaysia. And the list of stuff that, was, that they spent this stolen money on, it's a ridiculous list of stuff. Uh, the Prime Minister's family and friends brought, they bought uh, penthouses in New York City, they bought mansions in Beverly Hills, they bought yachts, yes, yachts, Barry White style and otherwise. They bought Picasso paintings. They did a lot of gambling. The prime minister's wife mysteriously ended up with a lot of ridiculous jewelry. The prime minister's stepson uh, used a bunch of the money to finance some Hollywood movies, including The Wolf of Wall Street, Daddy's Home, and Dumb and Dumber 2, all through a company called Red Granite Pictures. If you